What you find from Celtic tonight is just a better level of performance. Last week w w was was shocking. They were hopeless last week, you have to say that, mm. especially in the second half, but they need to keep going what they've done in the first half and it's not beyond them to do it. No. I, th I think, sorry dude, just quickly, I think if, if they do get a couple of goals and it's like maybe four or whatever and they don't go through, I think they can at least, as I said, at the top of the programme, they'll get their pride back and I think they've done that, especially in the first half and I hope it continues. Of course we do. Now, already it has been a much improved Celtic performance. They still need, well, three goals to take it into extra time, four goals to pull off the most unlikely recovery in European football history. But the fans will do their part, that's for sure. Let's hope the players can as well. Let's get back to Celtic Park and to Ian and Paul. Thanks, Diggy. Welcome back to Celtic Park, where you'll never walk alone is being played on the PA, and the Celtic fans certainly have tried to play their part in the opening 45 minutes. Alan Thompson scoring, and John Hartson too, right on the stroke of half time. It's all going to plan for Gordon Strack, and he said 2 0, it needed to be at half time. Ratislava just might start to shake a little bit if Celtic can get another goal. I know it's, it's pretty obvious, but the next goal is the key. If they get to three, then this crowd will be really up. And, uh, and then anything's, anything's, anything's possible. But it's one of the great sides in European football this, on, a, on a night like this. Well, Celtic now, well, you might have noticed in the first half some of the shirts of the sponsors, logo, some didn't. They now all do. A little bit of kit change at half time. Well, Try and follow this one. Number four doesn't have a spare jersey with him, so he's now going to wear number 11. So number four is now morphed into 11. That's Jan Durica, despite what it says on the back. Saltis, who is injured and has taken part in neither tie. Well, part one was done in this first half for Gordon Strachan. Will part two be as rewarding? Referee Alberto Malenko prepares to get us underway. And the second half is underway at Celtic Park. No team has ever come back from a five-goal deficit. As you know, teams dug themselves into that hole that then fancied their chances. Celtic do fancy their chances. And they've got three goals to get. Ball knocked away by Deadmark. Well played forward. Further right in there. We need to come forward. This chap just waits. The ball knocked out of play towards the tunnel. There was a bit of a fracas in the tunnel at half time. As, you know, the players got a little bit upset with each other. And that's possibly to Celtic's advantage if Bratislava are getting irked by the other. Well, the more they're at one, the better. And, you know, Celtic's certainly been up front from the word go. No action taken by the referee. So the bookings remain Thompson for Celtic, Debnart for Arminio Bratislava. Goes that short of the free kick. And the a scorer in the home leg. And he's had more opportunities than this. Robo Baldi concedes. Also hit him very heavily. Bigger parts come out, came out there. That looked a little bit heavy from Kamara. Well, what actually happened was, you know, Vastjak missed kicked the ball. Yeah, I think Kamara got a slight touch <laughs> on it, but... He's looked a lot more solid, though, Kamara, and that will please the Celtic fans. Corner in. And oh, now with a strike again. <laughs> well, it didn't work, but again, Celtic didn't have anybody standing with him. Poor from Wallace trying to get it back. Was that short but robbed? But pull of the arm of Alan Thompson. Thompson still got it away. And Celtic get the decision from the ref. Burak not fooled though by the throw. Thompson wanted a free kick. The referee said play on. Oh, just got away with that ball, Baldy. Precision. That's because of course Hudson waiting for it. Header away. Right in a good act. Great yeah, delivery from Ross Wallace coming in his left foot.
Celtic with no corners in the first half. And that's the first of the match. Goalkeeper's coming, he was blocked by Bobo Baldi. Well, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Goalkeeper came out, but Baldi, was he standing his ground or was he being a nuisance? Well, it looked as if he was blocked, but only not enough pace in the ball. You know what, it was as much the, the after media player as the, as the Celtic player. Yeah, I mean, we blame Big Bobo for quite a few things, but there's no way he was comfortable there. If you're going to keep it in, you really have got to get the distribution. And we've seen the good and the bad from Bobo Baldi in this very young season so far. Fodrick. It's Jack Kozak's up in support. It comes forward, it was almost completed and again. A lot of space between the fullback and the centre backs. Yeah, it, it was decent play, but it came from a, a poor header from Stephen McManus. So it's, as a centre back, your bread and butter is you've got to go and win the ball in the air, and there was nobody near him, and he, he didn't get a good enough header on it. Ross Wallace starting this evening, three sub appearances made up last term. There's Petrov. Driving forward, four black jerseys around him. Kamara again. Plenty of space for Lennon. Drop it on to Telford. Wallace. He's going to continue going. That's a neat little touch by Juraj Hallenar. And that was a decent tackle too. Surfing on the back foot, Hallenar coming forward. Well, that's an easy one to deal with. The run on the far side was Fordrick. I think about Baldi, the only space he was given up was on the outside of him, which we probably didn't do in the first leg. So Petrov plays it across. Sean Maloney has been called back to the dugout. And Strachan will not hang about. Challenge came in from Telford. That would be a free kick. Yeah, I think well, young Ross Wallace has, has done quite well tonight. I can see uh, Sean Maloney coming on for him. Yeah, no question, that was a free kick there. Well, here he comes. Started on Saturday, Sean Maloney. He's going to be changing jersey too. Ross Wallace, I suspect, will leave the field of play. And he's made a contribution in the first half. He was bowled over and setting up John Hartson. Telfer. Tedaski misread that. Goes out because Hallenar making the run. That's out of Borak. You've not seen too much of him. Borak, he looks very competent. A uh, real physical presence in the goals as well. well you're right, though, Paul. He's not had a lot to do. And we'd like it to stay that way. Ben Bratislava packing behind the ball. Kamara under pressure, but he coped. Zelensky. Again, not linking. Kozak, we did that so often in the first leg, a couple of passes, then the long ball forward. Two feet, picking up the men. The difference is Celtic this time are defending them an awful lot better. They're picking them a lot more of the second balls, aren't they? And, they are, and Baldi's having a far better game tonight, I think. Comes Hartson. Good play from John Hartson against number 11, who is actually number four. Yes, he's got a real hand put to right John Hartson, he really has. Well, Celtic, will they wait for the corner? No, they've no intention of doing so. And Elitch 
electronic board is malfunctioning. Gordon's tracking, watch the change made. Ross Wallace comes off. His first European start, he didn't do too bad. He did okay, he had a real hand in the same goal, should have got a bit of bravery in. He never shot anything as well, so he stood up. On comes Sean Maloney. The tall players are up. Comes across, Bali almost in there. Maloney, great ball! Thompson's playing the corner in, the Maloney wasn't picked up out the back. You'll see they are not picked up, just on. And it's a terrific cut by. A, a bit fortunate, but you know, they'll give it to Mamaris. I think he's on target. Super cut by Paul. Well, that's a terrific piece of play. Vladislava will more than unlucky. Celtic fans simply don't care. Steve McManus, in his first European start, gets his first European goal. And it's Celtic 3, Mark Media 0. Petrov fighting for the ball. Great substitution from starting point. Well, he wanted it made before the corner, we have to stress that. Maloney. One, two. Zinovsky. And Bratislava or Rattle. Baldi, that's unnecessary. That is unnecessary. From Bali. He did the job, he had to, and the yellow card comes out. And the important thing for me, Paul, it gives them a chance to take the tempo out of the game. The crowd gets quieter, it's such a crucial period of the game, the next 15 20 minutes. Second yellow card of the tie for Bobo Baldi. He'd done his job, made him go back the way. It was a needless challenge. Kodrak is down, and that's just allowing the Celtic fans to vent and anger at him. If he's time-wasting, well, the referee won't be fooled by it. That's, that's for sure. I could say I'm almost for certain that he's time-wasting. Nothing wrong with that challenge. Oh, this is what's made the difference in the second half. The header came in, then biff bam boom And Celtic celebrate. Oh, came from the delivery as well. It was great delivery from Alan Thompson, Paul. Well, Sean Maloney takes a great deal of credit too. That'll give him a bit of confidence too. Maloney has been lacking just that little edge, and things going right for you like that can make all the difference. Well, and the media defence knew you know, whoever was picking up Ross Wallace they were picking up. Nobody was picking up Sean Maloney, and he got free round the back. Temporarily down to ten men through injury, not a rip shirt this time. Plenty of time, would you bet, against Celtic now? Thompson. Oh, uh. Maloney. Tiromsky! That's cool defending. Oh, God, Belly. McManus. Kovorich. 43,729 inside Celtic Park. I have to confess, it looks more. The thing is, though, that I think there may be a few more coming out of their houses now you go to Celtic Park. Take the handheld TV with you if you're coming. Or the action on Radio Scotland, they were on medium wave. Lennon. Hartson. Alton Maloney. And they'll gather the ball. Sure. Rather theatrical, the ball was away. Maldi again jumped, didn't win the ball. I just get a little bit nervous when the old Maldi's going up like that with a yellow card. I think it takes, I mean, he's had a few good seasons at Celtic. I don't think he tries to attack every ball. Sometimes the tra trajectory of the ball doesn't allow you to attack, you just got to stand off and not go away a foul. Thompson. Hartson, even if he wins it, there's nobody there for him. But oh, that's unbelievable! From 
with John Hartson. Well, if nobody's prepared to help you, just help yourself. If I had went in, the, the, the roof of the came on sale too far. He's done really well tonight. And I tell you what, he's unlucky. He's unlucky. It's a great effort. That's just sensational from John Hartson. Take on his man, Kamara, is fouling. Oh, that's Shark, he, he played such a good first leg, but you don't try and get players booked. I hate seeing that. I hate, you know, opponents trying to get players booked. It was a foul, you know, there's no doubt about it. It was a good play, he's a good player on the first leg, really on the first leg. But, you know, you don't do that. No, he showed the imaginary yellow card, but the referee keeping the real thing in his pocket. This is so important for Celtic defend it well. This could just go all flat. Oh, this ball tosses the line. Goes out, plays the ball back, they're doing it again. Well, it's not a new ploy, it has to be said, but Celtic are not picking up to see Furdick right in the middle of your picture. It, will, it would take a real special effort, but you know, it was on the first leg, you know, special efforts do go in from time to time. There's two balls on the pitch, which can't be a good thing. The improper one has been retrieved, and the proper one gets passed too far by Suravsky. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, you can keep up to date with the action from the SPL and the Scottish League Sports in Saturday at 4.30, Stuart Cosgrove kicking that one off, 4.30, with David Curry. Well, 15 minutes gone in the second half. Celtic in the first half, two goals, and they need one every 22 and a half minutes. They need one every 15 minutes. And, well, the nails are being bitten, but well, the belief is there. Well, it's certainly on now, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the next 10, 15 minutes. And saying that, I've been saying that all game, every minute the game's crucial. I think he's enjoying it. He's not. Vladimir Weiss watching his side and to bring himself back together goes out that was just kept it and no more he's like Craig Beaton maybe coming on Paul maybe Zarowski's tiring a little bit you know, he'll do, I think he's had a couple of training sessions the options are fairly thin on the bench there's seven subs listed obviously Marshall the goalkeeper but I don't see Lawson or Day coming on. So BT will come on and then perhaps Salieri Air or in the giddy. And the last substitution, you need a goal. Zerafsky. This is 13th Champions League qualifier. Ball gets played across, Hartson. No chance of going for it. If it does happen to be Zaraski coming off, I, I think he's done really well tonight. He's moved, his, his movement's been excellent, and his length's been really good as well. Curious throw from Urak there. Petrov, good control. Hartson, he's going to go for the shot. Well, John Hartson has got the scent for goal. Yeah, a different class again. Great backing up play with Petrov and a, and a super strike. So Zanowski will be coming off. Uh, Neil Lennon. We talked a, bit, a little bit about body language in the first half. I'm not really sure you want to see that from your captain. He's going to try and keep things nice and calm. I think he's frustrated there. I think Obzera's just done him for pace. And, you know, I think it was an obvious push. But Neil's done really well tonight. Nerves the players on all night, I guess. Adjik Zurafsky leads his beautiful play. Much more encouraging spell for him in this match. And after nearly 63 minutes, he's replaced by Greg Beatty. 
which is thought of Craig Beatty around Celtic Park. He had a couple of pre-season friendlies at right back, and it's centre forward tonight as the shot comes in, curling away. Alas, Borbelli has scored twice in European competition, just knocking it away. Maloney he can make Celtic tick. Kamara weighs up his options, Hartson wins the header, brings it down to Maloney! Well, the chances are being created, Sean Maloney knows that's a terrific opportunity. So it's a lovely ball in, and again, you know, I said it only, John Hartson, terrific. He's got the support there. A player of his quality, Sean Maloney, maybe should do better. Well, that was almost a Martin O'Neill-like leap there from Gordon Strachan. Plenty of time for Celtic. It's a lovely dip of the shoulder from Petrov. Burak recovered well, I have to give him that. Here's Lennon. Telfer, nobody out wide on the right-hand side. There is now, Telfer comes in, can he get the shot away? It's a good block, good block from the defender, and it yields Celtic a corner. And the referee, the referee was going for a bike kick at first until the Leeds can get the corner. come up from the back, he's never scored in European competition. Maloney around the back again, Paul. And again, nobody's picking him up. Art Media just haven't communicated that. Goalkeeper. Well, flat, effectively. Kamara. And the flag goes up as soon as the man goes to touch the ball. BT offside. Looking for a Hannah Innes from Selkirk to contact the nearest steward or police officer. Hannah Innes, please make yourself known. Well, it wouldn't surprise me, and Vladimir Weiss decides that time's to change things round for Bratislava. Yeah, they, they need fresh legs because they, they've been chasing the ball an awful lot tonight. Paolo Stano was the man getting changed. Off the run. That's Durica coming across the number four, wearing 11. Good of Burak. Looks set to be the man withdrawn. Baldy's on his way up, Paul. A long throw, maybe. That's a terrific it's long throw, too. I think got the ball away. Delver fighting again. Sure. Living away. Pushing head up. Good play from Petrov, good impression on Sure. He's going to have to play it though. Neat. Thompson angles it over, BT. Now he wanted the corner kick, but it came off BT. Goal kick. The old stalwarts are playing the part tonight, though. You know, Thompson and so second half. First half as well, the second half, but they're doing really well. Thompson appears to be confident, he's quickly grown as, it, as, it, as he goes along. Playing much, much better. There's a change being made. Oh, oh, Stano, oh, the oh, man who's preparing oh, to come oh, on. Peter oh, Hurak oh, just applauds a small band of Art Media fans that are here. Stano goes across. Looks like Debnar might slip out to the right back area and Stano join the centre of the fence. So Celtic three ahead, they're looking for four. Hearts and Maloney have both had efforts. Maloney should have done better at his. In terms of time and the timetable, it's not too bad. In the last 
last quarter of the match. Celtic seeking two goals, which would give us extra time. Thompson. That was well laid off. I should have expected it to come right back at him. A much better play from Celtic. Your mind just drifts back to, to last week in, in the heat and the goal going in in stoppage time. It just made this so much harder. Well, the Maggetti miss for That's me. True. But you know, even if Celtic get four and they get to the last five minutes, it'll be a cavalry charge. Alan Art, well, he's been much, much quieter in this match. He did have one opportunity, he wasn't able to take. Well, again, Petrov, Hartson, brilliantly done by Celtic. Maloney goes in, great feet from Maloney! Goalkeeper just did enough. Sean Maloney took it with his right foot, didn't want to run across the left, but also close for Celtic. Magnificent play, great link by Hartson, Petrov, and then Maloney then just... Didn't get enough to get the to, to get over the goalkeeper, but superb play. BT took his eye off it. I almost forgot that Bratislava were allowed to attack. Alan had almost laid that off. Like man is so important with a touch. And Roald Barney. And he apologises, but he came through quite rightly. Bednar, nice chip. Kamara came across. Something much better defending. Terrific run by Sean Maloney and just preparing the right foot to try and jab the ball over the keeper. It was not to be. And there was Stano. He scored against Kara Almaty in the last minute. So he's dangerous in there and so is Durica. On a kick will be taken tonight. The team wasting starts now, Paul. Oh, it? yes. Getting the ball outside the box. Right. What a curious team when it comes to corner kicks. Yeah, I think because they scored the goal in the first leg, they keep doing it. But uh, I think Vascheck looks tired now. I think he looks as if he wants to come off. The player was so impressive in the first leg. Oh, many are preparing another change. Martin Mikulic is preparing to come on. Two goals in 19 minutes, that's the target for Celtic. Petrov, a run on. Goalkeeper will come, that's his. Pretty tries. Oh, there's, a, there's an injury in the box. And it'll be fucked out. I know it's unsporting, if I was Celtic, I wouldn't give him the ball back, because that's clear play acting. Well, a little knock on the back, he claims, didn't appear to be much in it. Here it is. I think he put a ladder on his cycling shots. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. Well, the referee, just having a check, could have been worse, could have ripped his jersey, could have put him out the match for five minutes or more. Celtic have kept the ball. They thought it was play acting. In the end, Armenia get it back. And Zeta has really faded from this match. The lad Vastjak can't move, Paul. Can't move. I think it must be him coming off. Petrov. Yeah, and plays it across. Good shot, Ian Vastjak will come off. Will be across. BT tried to get the high. Goalkeeper was across. Well, he made something out of nothing there. Kamara. Tracking Hallenar. Beatty. Tried the low ball that time. Simply really need Beatty more in the box to do what he almost did. Maloney. Into Lennon. Celtic looking for the way through. Kozak started the clearance and that was completed. And the ball forward, Stano. So 
Celtic building slowly, the crowd expectant. Thompson the ball in, the goalkeeper oh. was all over the place, and decided to pull out and allow short. But Craig Beatty had an effort, but it wasn't to be, and the referee's going to allow the change to be made. So, as we said, Martin Mikulic, an awful calm, but that's just Vaschak, 21 year old. He'll take his time coming off, he's in no hurry. That's my manis and Baldy up for the long throw pole. I think it's everything now. Yeah, going for it. Petrov tries the adventurous! So close from Stillian Petrov. He has scored some terrific goals in his Celtic career, trying to conjure something up there. I don't think it was any way he could put shot on target. Terrific effort. Oh, that was so close. Oh, some of the stuff heroic from Celtic tonight. We can just get this next goal. Well, that's what everybody around Celtic Park's looking for. And mainly that one, Gordon Strachan. The player down. And be no hurry to get on with things. Craig Beatty did have an opportunity. The story of Celtic's night when they come close. It's a super header. I mean, it was 12, 14 yards out and a great save. I don't think it was as close as that. It was, uh... it was terrific stuff from Beatty. Uh, just couldn't keep it down. See, so Maloney with an effort, Beatty with an effort, Hartson with the effort. I mean, hitting the post, the upright. The goalkeeper was across there. But Beatty is knocking the ball off the post. That's how close Celtic are coming. Ball across again, almost into Hartson. Well, Celtic will settle for the corner. The pressure continues. Paul Taylor have done that all night. Up and down the pitch all night. I think Gordon Strachan was born about the boys' fitness. Half a dozen in the box for Celtic. Thompson plays across, goalkeeper came flat. Nobody reacted for Celtic, though. Fortunate to get it back. And there's a thin black line that Celtic now have to break. BT wanted that, but he wanted it at his feet. Correct. Right. Five forward for that media. And that again. Telfer will come and gamble. He had to. And he has the ball. Beatty's made a great run. So is Maloney. There's still time here. They don't have to get desperate. They're just going to keep it calm. I just think you're exactly the same. You can still be patient. You, know, you can put teams under pressure, but still be patient. Right, Edio Bratislava. First time they found themselves in this position. They made the European debut in the same season as Gordon Strachan did. It was more the European debut with Southampton. This will be Gordon Strachan's first win in European football as a manager, and he wants it to be at least five and go to extra time. Kamara, decent ball. Stano did what he could. Could be Kamara the world a good tonight, I think, Paul. He's done a lot better up and down the pitch. They've not been under pressure defensively, though. Searching for goals. Oh, the ball comes in, dealt with. Lennon was never going to bring it down and have a strike. That's not Lee Lennon's way. Kamara. Outside flag goes up. 
It is slightly frustrating for the supporters that you know they have to actually wait till the touch comes from the player, but yeah. that's the directive. Yeah, and it's, it was all set. As soon as you see uh, the play went dead, Petrov and Lennon both turned around to Kamara to try and get it out to tell him to get it out to tell for early. Ball through the middle, McManus, quick casual. Liverpool have taken the lead against Kernis. And one goal to nil. Steven Gerrard scoring, continuing his fine run in Europe. I mean, Kernis will loan hearts another couple of players, but I suppose we can leave that for another day. <laughs> I wonder how long you'd take to get hearts into the, the pitch of Paul. We cover all Scottish football here on the BBC. We're concerned with Celtic tonight in 11 minutes at Celtic Park. Well, our media brothers now have to hold out. They've been way forward by the manager. Can Celtic set up a classic European night finish? Ten minutes to go. Do you go three at the back? Do you bring in Ali Adier and just go for it? Yeah, of course, yeah, I think maybe they make a substitution, but I think you keep it as it is just now. Because just before this attack, they were dominating the game. Gerard is possessed. Celtic have to concede the throw. The temptation is John Hartson. He's been magnificent, but he's put so much into the game that you know you always might nick a goal. But, you know, maybe time and maybe think about replacement. Foul throws, can you watch him on game? Mikulic left it late on McManus, but McManus got it away. Stano and he's watching. And he has given the free kick. That was a that was a poor, poor challenge. No, he's okay, thankfully. Stephen McManus, 22 years old. A chance to try and establish himself in the Celtic back four. The clock currently against Celtic. They need two goals. Maloney, touch of magic. Good play. Beatty did the right thing. Yeah, well, definitely. You get what you can out there. And Paul Kerfer shown it can hurl it right in the box from there. That's precisely what he's going to do. And the Adi here getting ready to come on. On throw. And Ali Adi here will come on. A change from Bratislava to Kamara. Athletically won the ball. Ball across, great chance, PT! said Mo Kamara was a good throw but fantastic cross and a wonderful header where on earth was the central defence from an art media so point of view great, great goal from Beatty well Celtic are going to not change things here I think that's because Gordon's thinking extra time you know let's maybe keep one up the sleeve Maloney plays the ball through, wrong side of Stano, Beatty goes in! Well, the goalkeeper had to come, well, what a night Greg Beatty's having. Thompson goes in on the fight, ball gets played away. Well, what a goal from Craig Beatty, it was an absolute cracker. Oh, oh. Lovely ball, lovely other boy by Maloney. Just didn't quite get the goal, did well get away early. It was a great goal he scored, and then to get another chance, Craig beat his certainly up for us. <laughs> He's 
Celtic 4, Media Bratislava 0. Our media's fifth goal came in injury time. Alan R. Danger, danger, danger. Great pass by Kozas again, and a decent hit. Yeah, super hit, actually. Yeah, a lot better than strike. He'll be a player that uh, Celtic will think about in the future, I'm sure. Keep an eye on his progress. Alan Thompson. Kamara, he set up the fourth. On to Beattie, who scored it. Give it back to Kamara and get in the box. Show the Celtic fans. Great tackle. Great tackle, Alan Thompson. What I was saying at half time, there's no tired legs now. We just want to keep going for it. Got his tracking. Offering the ball. Well, they're in no hurry, Art Media, and you can't blame them for that. It's up to Celtic to win the ball back and keep the tempo up. Yeah. The belief is running right through Celtic Park. The Scottish club has come back from a four-goal deficit. Kilmarnock and Hibbs have come back from being three down. And Celtic, well, they've not often found themselves in this position, but they've handled it well and have given himself every chance when he knows it. Alan Thompson, flipped it on, Hartson is going to give Stan a real chase here. Hartson goes on. I don't think there was much in that. I'd like to see it again. I think maybe Hartson pulled him, just a little bit of touch. No, there's not much in that. There's not much in that at all, Paul, you're right. No free kick. No, it was not free kick. He just anticipated better hearts the bounce of the ball. Yep, I think the referee was just a step ahead of himself. Conte just took his time. McManus, second half goal from him. Oh, well, that's defending as safety first. And the idea is again ready to come on. Petrov to Thompson. Maloney. He's played so well since he came on, Sean Maloney. Looking for the ball for Thompson. Telfer's on again. He's all alone, isn't he? Absolutely all alone. And are very slow to go out to him. Petrov just couldn't get there, time ticking away, just under four minutes to go, you've got to think Celtic will get a chance. Yeah, I think they'll get a chance, you've got to wonder how the referee's been exceptional, how many minutes is he going to add on? Another drag, Kutsvich is ready to come on, and Sunaj Halina, the man who may have cost Celtic, the best part of 10 million quid comes off, but Celtic are fighting all the way. Substitution for Celtic, Rob is Alan Thompson on number 15. Aliadeo. And Strachan just wants him on. And Alan Thompson comes off. They've got to let the player come on, the Celtic players come off. Yeah, the idea comes on eventually, the throw will have to be retaken. Thompson, I think, has got his confidence back tonight. His passing in the second half was exceptional. Played so well. And Thompson just... Well, he took a knock. May well be the reason he came off. A bit of ice on the ankle. Tommy Burns was there. Tommy Burns, who played in the Celtic side when they last won 5-0 in Europe, that coming back against Sporting Lisbon. He scored on that night and he watches on to see if the team he's coaching can get a fifth goal. Well, it's played through. Here we go. 
Knocked it away, Deadmark. That was just clumsy. Mm, just clumsy indeed. Area. Player is injured. I know it's Slovakian, natural when it comes to languages, but that wasn't polite. Well, it was a foul, but again, it's just. I mean, the divers, they had to go to the roof. And that, I always feel as well, no matter how many, how, how long teams time wasted, the ref never seemed to have on as many minutes as they time wasted for. It's usually the way, just to give it that little bit extra, it doesn't come. Well, they're tense and they're nervous. They look as nervous as a Rangers accountant at the moment. Tell me what a row they'll be if there's three or four minutes added on. Rangers, of course, would benefit should they get to the Champions League on their own, the group stage, they get all. A big pot of money to themselves, basically. Three minutes of additional time have been indicated. Four minutes to go in total. Celtic need a goal. Nothing else will do. That's it. On to Beatty. He's got the pace, Beatty. Three in the box. And the flag's up on the far side. Big Beatty looked like he'd just done enough. But it's not to be, and Art Media are just going to try and frustrate Celtic now. Yeah, just off, not much at all. Tight. Four in normal time is what Art Media Bratislava scored in the Telekpol Stadium last week. Celtic have scored four at Celtic Park in 90 minutes. And they push McManus up front now, Paul, beside John Hartson. They need an injury time goal. And history repeat itself on this tie. Delfer has to stretch. He won't get there. Three, 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 three minutes is going up round the ground. Should have more than that, Paul. Celtic fans don't like it. No doubt about it. And neither does Gordon Strachan. He's indicating six. Well, if you like your football meaty and all out attack, this is the time. It's hard now for Celtic to find a way past. Petrov. They've got to get the ball, Paul. They've got yeah. to get the ball. Gordon Strachan was in the opposition dugout. There's now Gary Pendry getting involved too. Vladimir Weiss is shouting at his backroom team to get past and get back. All Gordon Strachan did was totally natural run and get the ball when your team's down. There goes Gordon Strachan. There he goes. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it was perhaps not ready for that. Well, the time wasting is going on and on and on. And the likelihood of Celtic having the goal just ebbs away. They need the ball, they need a chance. Is this it? And they are here. Hudson wants the ball, but he's got himself, the Frenchman. Plays it out wide. Maloney's there. Maloney oh. needed to try and step the ball away. Rukic just holding on, but Celtic have it again. Ball has to come into the box. Hartson looking, important header down. Shoots past Eliania. Under 90 seconds. Celtic's European dream is hanging by a thread. A thread that Bratislava want to cut. Celtic wanted a free kick, it's not going to come from there. It's just going to scalp this ball forward. Mitty tries to get the header in there. Just not falling Celtic to where I said, Ian, I thought they would get a chance. It looking like they're not even going to create one at the moment, and the free kick awarded. Well, a wry smile from Stille and Petrov. But the seconds just slipping away, and with it, Celtic's European hopes. Well, this has probably been the cameras that Bratislava have been in the whole game. They've handled the last few minutes pretty well. Kamara won the ball. Petrov hooks it on. Beatty had time to go. Uh, you can count down the takeoff. 10 9 all the way down. Vukovic holds on. Celtic need the ball back. That's theatrical. 
And the referee doesn't even play the full time. It's been a night where Celtic got four goals, but it's not enough. Gordon Strachan, well, his side tried all they could. He made the changes. But Vladimir Weiss cannot quite believe that he's guided his team into the third round of the Champions League qualifying. Hartson was immense throughout. There was no doubt about that. Gordon Strachan, well, he shakes hands. Manus came back. But it wasn't to be for Celtic. What it's done, I think, the only thing that Solistic can have is restored their confidence, you know, for the league matches coming up. But tonight they were absolutely exceptional. Well, the last time that Celtic played just two European games in a season was back in 1989-90, the European Cup Winners' Cup. They went out, they lost on away goals. Gordon Strachan goes up the tunnel, he's accompanied by Celtic's European hopes. It's over for Celtic in Europe for this season. At Media Bratislava will continue in the Champions League. Their supporters are delighted. The Celtic fans will leave disappointed. Full time from Celtic Park is Celtic 4, Art Media Bratislava 0, and it's the Slovakians who go through 5 4 on aggregate. Well, I think we're all so used to glorious Scottish failures over the years at both club and international level, but this is one of the most heart-rending of all. An outstanding performance by Celtic tonight when they went 3-0 up just nine minutes into the second half. It was definitely on. The fourth goal didn't come until eight minutes from time, and despite all Celtic's efforts and several very good chances, in the end they fall just heartbreakingly one goal shot. But the damage clearly wasn't done tonight in what has been a much improved Celtic performance. The damage was done last week in Bratislava, Gordon. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, a shocking performance. Look back at it now. The goals are lost. They made our media look a good side. And yet tonight they made them look very ordinary. I thought it was a terrific Celtic performance. It's a lo loads of power and pace. Gordon Strachan will be delighted he's turned that around. Obviously been majorly disappointed they went out. But that was uh, the outcome of last Wednesday's uh, debacle. Really, and, and tonight it's been a total turnaround. I said he's had a, a defeat, a heavy defeat, a draw, and now tonight no goals conceded in, in a first class performance, and it could have been done. That's the whole thing. That, that's what will annoy them the most because mm. it's not as if they just got so close but weren't quite good enough. They had the chances. They could have, Celtic could have gone through. They could have got the fifth goal team to get in extra time and they would definitely have gone through if they got to extra time. No doubt about it. It's obviously some consolation. <laughs> it's great consolation, Derek, that the, the performance was so much better tonight. But yeah, Gordon says it was there for the taking. They just needed a goal quickly after the third. Yeah, Celtic made them look ordinary tonight. I mean they didn't look I couldn't believe that was the same side they were playing after last week. They must be so frustrated that uh, of that from that result last week because that wasn't a good side they were playing against tonight. They've done everything well, I think, everything right tonight, Celtic. Their, 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 temp, uh, their tempo of the game was good. Their passing was great. They had great opportunities to score, but they just couldn't put the ball in the net. And uh, I think it's restored confidence. But it makes uh, the fans see that you know Gordon uh, is a good manager and there is good players there. Yes, I wonder how those uh, people have gone quite over the top with their criticism of last week feel now. Maybe they feel like making an apology. Or is that too much to hope for? 4 0 at finish. Let's take a look at the goals <laughs> which took Celtic so close to the most unlikely of European victories. The first one came halfway through the first half and John Hartson tonight absolutely immense creating the opportunities. Zorowski the man who goes down for the penalty kick. No Celtic failures tonight Gordon, every man did his, did his very, did very best. First class for most of the players. I think you know looking back at the criticism Dougie it probably was deserved for last Wednesday because we see tonight that what Celtic are capable of compared to what they put in last week but I thought everyone was good. Apart from the goalkeeper we don't know if he's any good or not. <laughs> nothing, he had nothing to do. To do. Mm. You know, MD could have played in goals for Celtic tonight, to be honest with you, because they, they just never had any pressure. But that was great refereeing, I thought. John Hartson did brilliantly here, but uh, the referee did really well to play the advantage. And young Ross Wallace's header on gave Celtic the second goal right on half time. 2 0 at half time, and we started talking about the improbable, perhaps just a little bit possible. And then nine minutes into the second half, suddenly everybody got very excited indeed. Stephen McManus, the unlikely scorer, and obviously there was a bit of luck about this, Derek. I think there? obviously there is, but you'll take it. You take it on the night, you know, and uh, good cut back there. And there's a wee deflection in, but as long as they cross the line, that's all that matters. I think I've got to point out tonight as well, they didn't concede a goal for the first time. You know, that was nine goals in two games, and they've stopped the rot in a way. Obviously, worked on that with the little time they've had between games. 
Uh, Gordon's obviously worked on it in some way, and I think McManus and Boyd looked a, a good partnership tonight. That's right. I mean, do you think maybe Stan Varga would uh, be a little bit worried uh, after that tonight? Because uh, I thought Baldy and McManus did do very well. The point about that third goal, there were 36 minutes left when that hit the back of the net. And yep. uh, look who gets in the stunning cross. The poor, much criticised Mo Kamara, and what a fantastic diving header. Well, BT did it on Saturday, come on, get equalised for Celtic, scored again tonight, and, and you know, he and Maloney looked very sharp. I mean, Gordon Strachan made changes at a good time. There wasn't any, no failures. Wallace had done well in the first half, but definitely Maloney lifted the pace of things. Mm. Celtic just couldn't score. I mean, that was the big problem they had. Mm. Loads of uh, pressure, possession of the ball, creating chances. They just could not get that goal. And I think you, what you said was right, Dougie, the, the distance between the third and the fourth goal was too long. If they'd got, if they'd got the fourth goal a lot earlier, I think they would have gone on probably even to get the six. Yeah, and there's certainly no doubt that Celtic managed to get the fifth. They would have won it an extra time against a team who were very much out on their feet. It was so near and yet so far. Here are the chances which fell Celtic's way. One of those would have done it. Would have taken the match into extra time. And uh, some great, well, two great saves in particular from uh, from the goalkeeper, yeah. Kobech. Absolutely yeah. outstanding. This one here is great improvisation. Dougie. Yeah. I just can't believe, you know, he's, he's on his backside, Big John, and you just can see it drop in there. That's a great reaction. If that would then, that was oh, that'd be one of the goals of the season. That, that was, that there was, was a lot of criticism of Hartson after the first game, and, and, and people saying, "Oh, he has to go. He's not good enough." He's out. A hat trick on Saturday, and he was outstanding. Well, we don't tonight. listen to that sort of criticism. I know you should really ridiculous. listen to it. People make so many. Yeah. But all yeah. of these chances here all came at three 0 Yeah, it's Hartson again, mm -hmm. laying it down. I think Maloney did an excellent game, but that's probably the, the, just a little shortfall in his game at the moment. He's just finishing off these chances. He should have kept his shot down. Yeah. And here is again. This is a good little run from him. It's great football from Celtic. He opened him up. He, he puts in an early shot there, and he's just, he's unlucky. It's a good save. Perhaps his left foot we were saying, but you know he's just he's did ever so well. I think he's had a great start to the season, young Sean. He's been very lively. He's energetic. He's enthusiastic. He sees a great pass at times and great link up play there. Yeah. Another chance fell to, to Craig Beatty, and again just so unlucky. Yeah, good save. I thought it hit the post at first, but I think the angle from. Behind the goals, I think the goalkeeper saved it. I'm not sure it hits the post, but um, as I say, any of those could have gone in, and, it, and it's uh, you know that Celtic are, are going into extra time. And as you said, Dougie, they're going to win the game from there. This was a good effort from Petrov. Not really a chance as such, but a very good effort. So we're saying it, it was it's four 0 in the night. It could really are the chances there. It could have been, it could have been done tonight. It could have oh, been yeah. nine 0 You know, but that's a frustrating thing. Last week's result was. Um, Maybe a freak result in a way, but it was incredible the consequences of that result last week. Yeah. What a contrast, though. That, that's an amazing thing. You look, I, I've never seen such a contrast in two games where one mm. team's looked far better than the other. Mm -hmm. You know, and they play them a week later, yeah. and it's a totally the opposite. Yeah. And, 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 and I know they got five goals last week, but Celtic could quite easily mm. probably better mm. chances than Art Media even had last Wednesday. Yes, I got a bit of stick last week for saying Art Media who at the end of last week's week's <laughs> program. I meant that only because <laughs> Celtic should never be losing five 0 to a team like that. They proved tonight that. Very ordinary side. Yeah, that, Celtic have the one to blame but themselves. No, I, th I think Gordon Strachan summed up for me quite well today when he said that they're probably a good side who mm. played great on the night and Celtic were very poor. And tonight it was just to say the contrast, mm. the exact opposite, where Celtic made them look very ordinary. But yeah. in these players, what an opportunity these Celtic players had tonight to rewrite European history yeah. because it had never been done before. They had an opportunity mm. tonight to actually get, get five, six goals and go through. And yeah. as I say, first time ever. But the bottom line is, it is. <coughs> Failure, glorious perhaps, but it is failure. It's a very expensive failure. It might be what ten million pounds if I could be banded about, Derek. Exactly, and I'm thinking as well, just the bigger picture of uh, the national teams not doing too well at the moment. I mean, want your Scottish teams, regardless of who it is, you want your Scottish teams to do as well as they can in Europe. Uh, but it's I'm also sure the that coefficient, Derek, as well exactly. that goes against us that losing exactly. Celtic. Mm. United, although you know that's a victory for Celtic tonight, but still the coefficient gets mm. affected. Yes, yeah, it? So it drops, doesn't it? Yeah. And it makes it all the harder for the champions and the other qualifiers, assuming there are two, to, to to come in at a later stage. Yes, and that's that's the the implications of it. But Celtic have, have regained some pride. They can now go into two home games before the Old Firm match with a bit more of a smile on their face, wouldn't you say, Derek? I would think so. Yeah, I think. I mean, I've really felt for Gordon Strack in the last few days, and the pressure on him must have been so intense. Unfair, most of it anyway, some of silly stuff, was, you know. Yeah. And, mm. uh, you know, I think he must have thought, what have I done here coming mm. coming this? But I think that's showed tonight that he uh, got a bit of pride back in the team, which mm. I said at half time. I think if they won and won co comfortably, they did, mm. it can bring some uh, pride back to the it's club. It's not on the result, Derek, is it? Mm. It's, the, it's also the man and the yeah. performance. I think that's what Gordon Strachan's looking for tonight. I mean, last week, as I say, was so bad, 
that he was getting criticism for it anyway. The players deserved the criticism. Gorm was getting it. OK, Saturday, you know, Celtic had a 3-1 lead, threw it away, managed to scrape a draw in their first league game. But the main thing about tonight, from his Gordon Strang's mm. point of view, was that he got a great performance from his players. Yeah. And, and that will galvanise Celtic now. Mm. And, and you know, I think, well, despite the fact they're out of Europe, you know, to a certain degree, if you think about it, if, if Rangers suddenly get embroiled in a, in a tough European campaign, the Champions League, Celtic going to have a lot, an awful lot of midweeks, free midweeks. And, yes. you know, and, and, and that sometimes can, can actually work in your favour as well. I think well. that, that what the, the Seville season, if you like, I think Rangers yeah. benefited from the fact that Celtic were, uh, you know, were committed were so to involved. Yeah. I mean, like. I know you want to be involved in Europe. Mm. It's not, it's mm. no excuse. And, and from Rangers' point of view, they're going to make a lot of money out of it. The players will enjoy it. The fans enjoy being involved. But in mm. terms of having games, I mean, Rangers. Are, I mean, Alec McLeish already talking about it. They're going to Inverness. Then they maybe have to go to Turkey or Cyprus, and then go to Aberdeen, Aberdeen the following week with mm. difficult games and it begins to take its toll if you get injuries and there's tiredness sure. sets in. So it's not going to do a Celtic any harm. And if they can turn that around on the basis of that performance tonight and start to, to do well, the confidence levels will be raised, as Ian McCall said there, but mainly the pride's back. Uh, I mean, the three of us have been involved in Scottish Hope for a long time. Have you been surprised at the vitriol that's been directed at Gordon Strachan just two matches into a season? There are people screaming for his head and saying he's got to go now. Yeah. Don't answer that, Derek, because we hear that Gordon Strachan has now joined us at Celtic Park. Gordon, you look absolutely deflated after that game. Give us your thoughts on that 90 minutes tonight. Well, uh, well there's all sorts of emotions there. Uh, pride, uh, sadness, it's all rolled in there. Uh, injustice, I don't know where the three minutes come from at the end. Maybe six or seven. Um, so there, there was plenty to think about tonight. Tonight, of course, Celtic performed incredibly well. Four goals, it could have been so much more, but uh, you must be pleased with how your team performed. Yeah, I was happy with them the, the first half on Saturday as well. We had a daft 10 minute spell on Saturday. So we scored eight goals in two games. Um, that's no bad going. Also, do you feel that that performance tonight could galvanise the squad after the difficult time you've had, certainly in the press and, and, and on the pitch? Press doesn't count. Yeah, the disappointment comes. Let's, let's get it right. The press doesn't count because that doesn't matter. The, the reality of losing or drawing, as we done Saturday, is enough to make you feel bad. So that doesn't really count. Now, obviously, about up, up to about ten million pounds is going to be lost by the club. Now you're not in Europe. Is that going to affect your ability to actually add to the squad during the next few weeks? Well, if you think about it tonight, we've got quite a few players out that we can add, and, and we've got John Kennedy to come back and Virgo and Agat. There's a lot of people who got to come back and uh, they will all get their chance. There were also an awful lot of positives tonight, great performances in particular. I thought John Hartson was outstanding this evening. What were your thoughts? Oh, I thought he was fantastic. Um, I thought Paul Telfer was phenomenal, Petrov phenomenal. The kids that come on, excellent. Lennon doing his job. So, And um, young Mick McManus coming back and doing so well after a torrid day. Day on Saturday, so I feel really proud for them, and they were they were good teammates tonight, and that's a great thing. They were good teammates on Saturday, and they were good teammates tonight. Gordon, commiserations. Thanks very much indeed. He looks a little bit chirpier, doesn't he? Uh, we came in tonight not quite knowing what to expect. We hoped, but perhaps we didn't really believe. Celtic gave their all for 90 minutes, and had only they had the chance to go another 30, I'm quite sure we would be talking about uh, European history being made and a team going through for the first time after conceding five goals in the first leg. In the end, though, Celtic go out after a 4-0 win. Uh, reports of their demise have been greatly exaggerated. From us all, good night.